Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Guten Tag. Ich bin Dr. Professor Otto von Wolfburg, MD. Greetings, and once again, welcome to Cut the Tape. Today, as you were expecting, I was going to reveal an important piece of Transformers movie memorabilia. However, due to the weather, I was delayed. So instead, I will open a box which I have received from my favorite vendor. Yeah, Big Bad Toy Store. But first, I have received a piece of literature which I would like to share with you. This is the Transformers Manga Collection Volume 1, available now on Amazon. To my surprise, it's in English. I was hoping for the German edition, but the English will do quite nice. I'm very happy that I received this today. But for the main course, we have our giant box of goodies. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes I like to make those wacky noises of my wife. Imagine being married to me for 12 years. She's not a fan. Okay. Expertly packed as per usual. Let us see all the delicious goodies which I have gotten. I purchased the Siege Wolf of Cybertron set of Top Shot and Flak. Flak's one of my favorite characters. And that is why Flak was included in the Bokkan set. Uh, was it the Wings of Honor? Yes. Yes, indeed. Uh, I could not find this in stores. And I was worried I was going to lose out. I like the experience of shopping for something and finding it in a brick and mortar store. Uh, I should have waited a day. But... I'm glad I supported Big Bad Toy Star. I have bought many items from them over the years. This is a fun little item. This is the Fortress Maximus. Uh, speaker for your iPhone. Oh, Fortress Maximus earphone jack plug. Yeah, this is from 2013. It was on clearance, and I said, hey, jawohl. Ah, another flak. One to open and one to keep sealed. This one has a slight bent. I will open this one. I will keep this one sealed. Ah. MP46 collectible pin. Okay. Oh, very interesting. Transformers Generation Select Star Convoy. I believe we shall cut the tape on this tonight, my friends. We'll put him over there. Oh, of course, another Viacon. I was, you know, short one for my display. And the reaction figures. Quite nice, quite nice. Yeah, Star Screen. Bumblebee. Soundwave, Megaton, and of course Optimus and Jazz. These are slightly larger and less articulated than your Action Masters from the 1990s. But, like your Action Masters, they're quite accurate to the animation. I believe I will get a second set to open. This was the first set. I just wanted to try them out. Ah... 
Gravestone. Yes, from X Transbots. They've come a long way, X Transbots. I'm very happy with them. At long last, they are complete. MP47 coin. Oh no, this is. Yeah, MP47 pin. Pardon me. Ah, Drift. Model kit. Yes, this is from Flames Toys. Yes, this is the Autobot Drift. Yes, I'm very happy with this. Yes, I will also make this a cut the tape episode where we build the whole model kit together. Yeah, it will do that in my laboratory. MP47. I forget which one this is. Who is MP47? Eh. I think that might be Hound. No, that is, uh, yes. MP47, that's Hound. Yeah, MP46, that's Black Arachnia. Let me know in the comments which one you want me to open next time. MP46 or MP47? Ah, very nice. I am a super big fan of the reformatted series. Yeah. Yes. This fits in nicely with my Wolf of Cybertron, my pre-Earth shelf. This is Senator Ratbat to me. Very happy with this as well. Let me put him down here. Ah, this is MP Ironhide. Yes. I am slow to the party. I must drink two beers for getting late to the party. This is uh, Dr. Wu's scout set. Yes, uh, this was more of an impulse buy. I like the little tapes. And Ravage, of course. Also from the reformatted toy line. Yes, as he is called Jaguar here. Yes, Mastermind Creations. And last but certainly not least, Transformers Convoy Optimus Prime Set. In fact, this, this must be opened immediately. Without hesitation or delay, we must open this. We must remove all this from our operating table. This is an exclusive set to Takara. Tomi Takara. Takara Tomi. You say apple, I say orange. 35th edition Optimus Prime set. It's like butter. Oh, beautiful. You must be very careful sometimes cutting the tape. Luckily, there is a cardboard protecting it, but you can cause some damage. One time, when I was working at Hasbro, I accidentally cut a box open and inside was a sealed Night Striker or Night Boomer and I sliced the box. So interesting enough, there is a box inside the box for an extra layer of protection. This box has some copyright information. And has some fine print on it. It has the Karatomi label, the Transformers logo, logo and the Autobot or Cybertron symbol. Yeah, we will be extra careful this time. Ooh. Ooh. Sometimes, instead of cutting like this, you cut at an angle like this. You can do this with an extra long blade. Look at that. That way there is no damage to the contents inside. Try oh. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Look, 
there is yet another layer of protection. Absolutely beautiful. I wish to be extremely careful with this set. Oh, this is quite a surprise. Oh. Oh. There is some tissue paper to protect the bubble from being scratched by the cardboard inside. Bonus points for that. But I was expecting a two-pack. I suppose it is a two-pack because they came packaged together. But what we have discovered are two separate pieces in the packaging. This is slightly different colors from the American Generation 1 release. Let us compare and contrast. Excellent. This is my second American Hasbro release. This is the one I will open because it has a slight ding. They are the same size box. It will be very nice to have these side by side. What I love about this box is that it's the classic size G1 Autobot car box. So inside I can see the instructions on the American. On the Japanese I see the label sheets. Everything appears to be the same. There's no recyclable sign on the bubble of the Takara version. The blister appears to be the same. And I wonder if both... Yes, it appears this has both blasters in it. Excellent. Very interesting. This will make a fine addition to the display. Nice and crisp on the back. I don't think I've ever seen one as crisp as this. Excellent. Now, this is quite a curious object. This is the movie version in a classic box. Notice the artwork. I do not believe I've seen that before. It's very nice. It's what the kids call sharp. Yeah. I believe this is an exclusive deco as well. Here's the side of the box and the back. The back is similar. It would have been very interesting to recreate this art using the movie aesthetics. Very interesting. Let's just compare. We'll do it like this. Movie, Generation 1. Or Generation 1. Very interesting. I thought it would be a solid packed box. The movie edition is a little bit larger, but it displays quite well in this G1 box. It makes me desire certain movie characters in a box like this, such as Lita Blackout. Constructicon Longhaul. Of course, Bumblebee, Ironhide. Bone Crusher. Would it not be a curiosity to see smaller figures carded in the Generation 1 aesthetic? 
This is quite a curiosity. It works. It definitely works. Wow. Quite a surprise. And packaged exquisitely. My compliments. Well, well, well. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Let us compare. The package we just opened to the Star Convoy. This is the remolded Is it Siege Optimus Prime, the leader class? Yes. It is often better to cut away from you. I like to make the Death Star noise when they're powering up the laser. Again. I will demonstrate. Instead of cutting like this, where you can cut the, the item inside, you merely cut a little bit here, and you go at it. Look, that is flat against it. But you need a long blade. If you have a blade like this, it will not work. You can cut like this, but you still run the risk of damaging the item inside. A long blade is preferable. Case fresh. Now, witness, there is no protective sleeve. So if we had made a miscalculation with cutting, we would have damaged the item, the box inside. Ah, a windowless box. Oh, quite curious. Look at that. It's a sleeve. Oh my. What have they done? I would call this, it's actual Generations Select. Takara edition. Their packaging is much superior. They take quite a lot of pride in what they do. Just for comparison to the MP, Now, this is what appears to, in the industry, called a literature box. It folds open. Very nice. Allow me to demonstrate. It almost feels like this is upside down. Look at the detail put onto the inside of the box, yeah? You remove the instructions and there it is again. The Autobot logo. Oh, ich liebe dich. You have your instructions. <gasps> Look what has fallen out. Chrome decals. I'm very happy right now. This is the best thing to ever happen. Ooh. Ooh. Very standard instructions. One sided. Here he is. On the outside, it appears to be similar to the American release, but when you open it, look, you can see here the remolding. It also has a different head. The original version came with the Orion Pax head, yeah. This one comes with a more uh, G1 Convoy 
style head. We have the Matrix of Leadership, which was available with Doratomus Prime from Combiner Wars. It is plastic, however, if it had been die cast, it would have made the whole thing absolutely magnifique. We have the blaster. I think this is an excellent idea of what to do with Optimus Prime's blaster. It's the standard blaster, but just doing that adds a whole new layer to it, a whole new composition. It makes it that much more versatile. It's the little details like that. They matter. Little details like that can change the perception of a brand. And, of course, that's Matrix of Leadership. Which I think is absolutely ridiculous to do something like that. But I understand why they do that. It's for the children. For the kinder. Yeah. Let us see, it has been quite some time since I have transformed this. And on this program, I often do not transform items, but in this case, we will. This almost has a Jinrai feel to it, even though it is not Jinrai. It just has that Jinrai feel to it. Oh, this is extremely nice. Oh, this is completely remolded from, from the, uh, From the Optimus Prime version at least, uh, more commonly. Completely remolded from Orion packs. Look at that. Look at that face. Mm. And I will compliment them on the color blue. Good choice. I wish the stacks were a bit higher, but what will you do? This is quite interesting. There's a little <laughs> five millimeter port right back there in the back of the head. <laughs> I don't know why that's there, but it's a little it's it's a little bit funny. Oh look at that. It's the little things like that which can make you happy. I must admit, I have forgotten how to transform this item. That is why I don't like to do it on the show. Back into your wooden casket. You must stay there. We will remove the instructions. Oh, and that's decals. Yeah, we will apply the, the decals later. I go through a whole process of applying decals. I believe these might be scanned in first. Pretty standard trailer, but you can see the stock convoy. 
detailing on it. In my old age, I often now... In my old age, I often now take a toy, a figure, I transform it, I release it from its plastic prison, and it goes onto the shelf until another day when I have time to better orient myself with it. You know, I have forgotten how much smaller this was. Perhaps an upgrade kit to make him just a little bit taller. go. The chest can open. Excellent. He is now connected. Abba. Ah. There we go. Stock convoy. Bravo. I commend you. Fell. Let's place this blaster into his hand. And there we have it. Hopefully, if the Vela allows, we can see the item um, from the film. It's a little bit larger, so it's currently sitting outside. Well, thank you all for tuning in to this episode of Cut the Tape. I enjoy the time we spend together. I want you all to know I love you very much. Thank you for spending your time with me. Until the next time, auf Wiedersehen. This has been Professor Dr. Otto von Wolfberg, MD. If you wish to contact me, please email me at cut the tape at tftalk.net. Jawohl.